UFC Fight Night 82, Hendricks vs. Thompson keeps the company rolling as they head back to Las Vegas. Originally, we were supposed to see a couple of heavyweights prop up the card as UFC 196. Fabricio Wordham took the belt from Cain Velasquez last June, and Velasquez was aiming to hold the title for a third time. However, Velasquez was forced out with a back injury, and then Wordham pulled out the following day with an injury of his own. Stripe Miasic was tabbed to fill Velasquez's spot, and while there was some speculation that John Jones would step into Wordham's vacancy, the UFC instead decided to drop the main event and bump everyone else up. Former welterweight champion Johnny Hendricks now faces Stephen Thompson as the main event, and the UFC has shifted this bout from pay-per-view to Fox Sports 1 to make this a fight night instead of UFC 196. Let's take a look at the fights. Johnny Hendricks is 17-3. and three. He beat Matt Brown by unanimous decision in March, which means he is coming off a long layoff. He was also due to face Tyrone Woodley in October, but the weight cut gave him kidney stones. Thompson, who is 11-1, his lone loss came against Brown in April 2012. He knocked out Jake Ellenberger by a spinning hook kick in July as a kickboxer, and he wants to keep this standing up. Hendricks has used his stand-up more in recent years. He went back to his wrestling against Brown, and he should do that against Thompson. Our pick on this fight is Hendricks. In Roy Nelson vs. Jared Rochalt, a heavyweight bout, Nelson is 20-12 and 12 and might be fighting for his UFC career once again, as he has lost three in a row and five of his last six overall. His lone win came against an aging Antonio Rodrigo Negero in April 2014. On the other end, Rochalt is 14-2 and, and has won three in a row and is moving up the ranks at heavyweight. A win over Nelson should put him in the top 10. And Rochalt is an accurate striker with a wrestling background who can move better than Nelson, who is simply past it at this point. Our pick on this fight is Rochalt. In fight three, Ovince St. Pru versus Rafael Cavalcante, a light heavyweight bout, St. Prue is 18-7 and, and was submitted by Glover Texiera in August. But while he is not a title contender, he is still a handful for the majority of 205-pound division fighters. Cavalcante is 12-6 and six with 1NC. He has three losses and a no contest in his last five fights. And that no contest was for a drug suspension. Like Nelson, Cavalcante might be fighting for his UFC career, which might cause him to throw caution to the wind. And that will just not work out for him. Our pick in this fight is St. Pru. Fight four is Joseph Benavides versus Zach Makovsky as a flyweight bout. Benavides is 23 and four, and his losses have come to champions, twice to flyweight champion Demetrius Johnson, and twice to bantamweight champion Dominique Cruz. That leaves him in a tough position because he seems to be better than everyone else. Makovsky is 19 and six, and has dropped two of his last three, and he is looking to break into the top five in the 125-pound division. He is a solid fighter, but Makovsky will not be able to keep up with Benavides's pace, and he will eventually make a mistake. Our pick on this fight is Benavides. More information and statistics on this game and every other game this week, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And remember that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.